Hey guys, it's Kweli Darius back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I have mastered my moisturization routine and how I have been able to incorporate certain practices in my regimen that have allowed me to stay or obtain moisturized hair for up to two weeks. No joke. So if you struggle with dry hair and you're wanting some tips on how to moisturize your hair effectively, I think I've cracked it. I have struggled with dry hair for the longest time and I think I might have some great, unpopular, you know, unheard of truths, very important and yet they're not that spoken about in the natural hair community about how you can actually retain or achieve a really hydrated hair or moisturized hair for longer periods all right so that you're not spritzing your hair every single day for those that don't want of course there's people that like to do that i don't <laughs> i'm a new mom i'm busy i don't have time for my hair okay so if you're new to my channel welcome for my returning subscribers you know i love you guys without further ado let's get into this video So how do you master your moisturizing or your moisturization routine? Um, last week I did a video where I was sharing, was it last week or a couple of weeks? I can't remember, but I recently shared a video where I tried out glycerin and discovered that it actually hydrated or allowed my hair to be moisturized for up to two weeks. And in that video, I talk a little bit about the things that I've incorporated or the things that I incorporated to help me achieve this moisture for that long. So I decided to speak a little bit more in detail in this video about that and also moisturize my hair as I'm doing it. So without further ado, I am going to start moisturizing my hair so you guys can see. And as I moisturize my hair, I'm also going to talk about everything, you know, the tips and how I have been able to maintain and retain moisture for that long. First of all, I'm just gonna take this off. First and foremost, why it's so important to maintain moisture. Um, moisture is pretty much the backbone of healthy hair, guys. Okay, my hair hasn't been moisturized for two weeks, no joke. And it actually is still moisturized as we speak. But um, I'm just gonna moisturize it because, you know, I'm not, I don't really push it any further than two weeks. Two weeks for me is the cap. Um, in general, I sort of moisturize every week, but even if I go up to two weeks, my hair still remains moisturized. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to spritz my hair with a little bit of water and glycerin to start. So why is moisturizing your hair important? Well, moisturizing is pretty much the backbone of healthy hair. Well, moisturized hair is the backbone of healthy hair. Moisturized hair allows you to retain your length better, it reduces breakage, you know, it ensures your hair is nice and soft and malleable, easy to manage, you know, and it's just a great indicator of healthy hair or health uh, hair that is, you know, likely going to thrive. So for me this year, I decided to really focus on cracking the code when it comes to moisturizing my hair. And I believe that I have cracked it. Um, what I have in here is one part glycerin to five part water, five parts water. And the key, and this is what I found out, is to be generous with my products. I know. I'm saying this in advance just so you understand why I'm going full on with whether it be the water, the living conditioner and the sealant. I'll talk about that further, you know, in the video. I have found that there are two things that are involved when it comes to having moisturized hair or moisturizing your hair effectively. And that is obviously adding moisture uh, effectively to the hair but then there's also the art of maintaining or keeping that moisture intact in your hair and for me I think I can very confidently say that particularly for my kinky haired ladies type 4 um, hair 
you really only need three products or three things your water um, humectant rich water so for me it's glycerin a leave-in conditioner and particularly I'm gonna say this castor oil I have tried your butters I've tried many oils I've tried grease and for me castor oil is the sweet spot when it comes to sealants because one it washes quite easily you don't really need a sulfate shampoo to rinse it off or to wash it off um, it's quite heavy so it actually feels like grease on the hair you know it's thick it's like a honey consistency and gosh my hair just loves it my hair is really effectively sealed each time I use castor oil so I've, I've pretty much stopped experimenting and unless I have to I don't really um, I don't really experiment because for me I've found what works for my hair and if you're still struggling with dry hair I would absolutely encourage you to try this combination humectant rich water um, glycerin as the humectant I would encourage vegetable glycerin a leave-in conditioner that you like and castor oil like period that's it so what I'm gonna do right now is just to work that water in and remember I said be generous with your products there's a reason for that and I mean that whether or not you're low porosity I know we've been led to believe that low porosity you know use less product or little product on the hair because of build up etc however if you think about it if you've got a lot of product on your hair your hair has more time to absorb the products that's sitting on your hair and that has been the case for me if I use a generous amount of product my hair has enough time every opportunity to suck that moisture up for however long when I use less product I mean my hair is moisturized but it will soon need more moisture more product added in excuse me more product added in the hair unfortunately so because at the moment I don't have time to be in my hair as much as I would love because you know I have a baby to look after I have been looking for ways to effectively moisturize my hair without needing that daily attention or that frequent attention and I found something that's working all right don't know if you can tell but my hair is pretty much well hydrated with water and the glycerin i'm now going to generously apply my leave-in conditioner so today i'm using this this one i don't know if it would be enough but i'm gonna be generous okay i'm not playing games i know it looks like a lot but you see what i mean as i moisturize the hair obviously the focus will be on the ends a lot but we don't have, we don't uh, we don't want to forget our roots so pretty much everywhere I'm drenching my hair everywhere with this leave-in um, and I don't know about you guys but I found that oils that are not heavy you know oils like I don't know jojoba oil grapeseed oil etc they don't seem to seal my hair effectively or as, as well as I would like. I'm sure they do seal the hair and some people love them and if it works for you, great. But if you're still struggling and you're trying all sorts of things and things are not working, please try castor oil in abundance. I'm, I'm not even playing games, guys. It's a lot of product, but if you think about it, if I'm only going to moisturize my hair once in a period of one to two weeks having all this product of my hair allows for that moisturization or the hair to what can i say have somewhere to draw from if you may you know and it's important to work that moisture in i don't know if you can tell but the hair you can feel the product in the hair it's like That's what I want. <laughs> I 
I've pretty much finished that. I might as well just finish the whole thing and be done with it. And so I'm gonna really focus on my ends and I'm gonna just drench my hair in that leave-in conditioner. It looks like a deep conditioning just because of the amount of product. It looks like something I'm gonna wash out, but guys, try it before you bash me <laughs> in the comment section. Um, obviously the downside of this is that, you know, I have a lot of dryness at the, at the hair here around my crown area, so I like to give it a little extra 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 love no product goes wasted okay we don't waste product around here we grab everything <laughs> these things cost money guys so eish. there we go it's finished okay it's officially finished all right there is a lot and i mean a lot of leave-in conditioner now this is not my favorite leave-in conditioner to use if it's got glycerin in the top five of the ingredient lists it's likely i'm gonna like it and i'm gonna use it so it's not like i'm specific about the leave-in conditioner and the only reason i'm telling you the products is because a lot of you guys will ask but don't get too hung up on oh this particular product look at the ingredient list and see how it works for you here. If your hair likes it, then you're in business. All right, guys, there is serious moisture in there. See? I have collected all my edges. I am not playing games. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the back. Everything's moisturized. All right. So obviously, as you can imagine, after I have worked that water and that leave-in conditioner in the hair, you can see I have worked it in and I had not needed to unravel my twists. Um, I just sort of squeeze the moisture in the hair like that. You can see it, there's moisture everywhere. Everywhere. Root to teeth. Root to teeth. I love it. Root to teeth. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with my castor oil. Now this, I don't have the original bottle for the castor oil. This is just a, you know, yeah, a bottle that I had around the house that I like to use. And guys, same thing with the water and the glycerin, same thing with the leave-in conditioner, same thing with the castor oil. I am gonna go generously and apply this bad boy in my hair. I'm talking like, see that? That's like just for my ends. You can actually, oh, you can actually feel the goodness okay it's so rich it's beautiful i love how castor oil makes my hair feel i left one twist so i pretty much go everywhere you don't have to be messy like this you know like me i'm just doing this to show you guys maybe i just put it in my hand and apply it i'll show you we're not playing games. It's a lot of castor oil. See that? And that's for just this section. We're going to town. We're going everywhere. Edges, the root, and the ends. And we're squeezing all that moisture in to ensure that it is um, well moisturized. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that all over my hair. I'm just twisting it so I'm not confused about which one has castor oil and which one's moisturized, etc. But anyway, I'll stop talking, I'll finish putting the castor oil and then I will, I'll tell you guys the next thing that I do to ensure that the moisture stays in the hair. I mean, after doing all this hard work, we really, really, really 
want this moisture to stay in the hair. So I'm all finished applying the castor oil. My scalp, you guys know I use essential oils. I'm just gonna apply some of that oil to my scalp. Keeps dandruff, itch, bacteria away. And it makes my hair feel so fresh. And it promotes hair growth as well. So. Win, win, win. All right, so on to the next step, which is the preservation of the moisture. Now, I don't usually use gel on my hair. Um, but I've started using a gel for my edges, particularly because my postpartum shedding has stopped and I've got new growth. Um, but it's so thick, healthy, coarse, all those things <laughs> that nothing will actually lay it back. So I look like my twists are old all the time, which I don't like. And also, just to set the hair for the week, I like to use some gel that I've, you know, I'm gonna show you right now. However, that's got nothing to do with moisture preservation. I guess it does. You know, choose a gel that's not gonna dry your hair. Um, and generally, I've searched high and low. Unless it's a botanical gel, it's not really gonna help with the conditioning or keep moisture in your hair, except the one that I'm gonna show you actually seems to keep my hair well moisturized and conditioned as well particularly around the edges where i use it however the tip that i'm going to tell you now is for you to preserve your moisture for a week two weeks maximum is to actually do what's called a secondary protective style like twists are a protective style on their own but i learned this from a lady on youtube called coco coco in japan i think um, I'll put a link to the video that I watched particularly about moisturizing um, and secondary protective styles. However, it's putting your hair up and tucking your ends in not only preserves moisture but also keeps your ends, you know, protected as well. So if you don't want a high bun, you can do something like a braid, which I've done in several videos i've shown you guys how i twist my hair then i braid it down or you can do just a high bun and tuck the uh, ends in the hair or tuck the hair in and what that does it just ensures that your moisture stays intact like sometimes when i take my hair out it's still pretty much damp days after moisturizing it yeah talk about moisture anyway I have been using this shine and jam. Shout out to my sister Pele for hooking me on. This is the only gel that I've used so far that doesn't flake, that actually conditions my hair. Um, it doesn't leave a hard cast, you know, and it doesn't make my hair feel crisp after using it. I love it. And so far, doesn't matter how much I use, it seems to just 
um, be really good like that at keeping my edges down. I know people are like, oh, shaman jam, shaman, uh, jam is not natural. I know it's not natural. Um, but it's the only thing that works. And if it's going to be the only thing in my regimen that is not natural, I will take it. recycling my parts and I'm just gonna keep those parts forever as long as I can because parting natural hair is hard work guys and maybe I'll do a separate video about recycling hair and what benefits I guess are there um, for the hair another thing that I've been doing is vine wrapping I don't know if you guys have heard of that but it's where you wrap the ends of your hair to sort of stretch them and that has been helping me prevent single strand knots etc but Exciting things happening in my regimen as I try to zero in on what my routine really is going to be, my permanent routine. If you know, if you've been following me, you know that this year I am going to finally crack down and settle on a routine that works for me. <laughs> so that's exciting for me. I hope um, you guys will stick around to my journey and for us to learn from each other but anyway that's all I had for you in this video um, I hope this helps you to retain moisture please try it out if you've got dry hair no jokes guys glycerin your leave-in conditioner and castor oil obviously glycerin works best if the weather is humid however even if it's not humid you do get benefits from humectants so I would really really encourage you to I think this is a game changer. I feel like if I knew earlier that keeping moisturizing my hair is not just about moisturizing, but it's also about how I style my hair and how I preserve the moisture after moisturizing. And also if I knew that applying a generous amount of product actually helps me to retain moisture better. Girl, I would not be cutting my hair as often as I have been. I would not have as many single strand knots as I do. I would not have dry hair, you know, as much. Even right now, as I'm moisturizing, my, as I was moisturizing my hair, it's actually still moisturized. It's not dry. It's not dry, and that is just my. It blows my mind because we're led to believe that our hair is just always dry and get used to it. But yeah, I'm here to say, look. There's something else here we can do <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching uh do subscribe comment below let me know how you moisturize your hair effectively until next time it's chloe darius bye